Great. So I think we should I think we should get going. <clears throat> okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Ilan Asbel. Uh, welcome to the first webinar that I'm giving uh, in this uh, wonderful new year in 2016. I have been a little scarce uh, over the last uh, two months or so. Uh, I went on a family vacation um, over the Christmas and New Year period, um, and then I. Uh, decided to go uh, traveling around the world on uh, on some some business uh, initiatives that we're running at Auto Charter. So I've I've been kind of a little bit uh, out of uh, out of touch for a while. Um, so I apologize uh, I apologize for that. Um, well, um, we're here to um, today to do an overview of uh, Auto Chartist. Uh, this is uh, not a uh, webinar today about how to trade uh, auto charter strategies specifically, but rather um, about the general aspects of auto charter so you can all can get a, a bit of an understanding <clears throat> about about the product. Uh, just to, to gauge who I'm talking to, I wonder if um, if I can ask you all to answer a quick uh, a question for me, um, and that question is which uh, asset classes do you trade? If you could let me know if you trade forex, uh, futures, or stocks, then at least I know who I'm talking to as an audience, um, and I can. Um, okay. Wow, that is. This is. I think this is the first time ever we've seen something like this. 100% forex. Oh no, there we go. It's 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 going down. <laughs> okay, we're 100% for a moment. Then forex. I, I almost fell off my chair. Okay, I see futures and stocks. Good. So people are diversifying a little bit. Okay, that that's a that's a good. Okay. Um, uh, okay, and uh, thank you for that. <clears throat> and then um, one more question I want to ask you uh, because it will, it will influence uh, one of my topics of conversation today is: uh, Do you use MetaTrader? Uh, so <clears throat> this is specifically, I guess, for forex traders. Uh, just trying to get a. If you're a stocks trader only and don't trade any forex, please go ahead and and push no. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so quite a quite a lot of no's. I was going to sh briefly show the the new MetaTrader plugin that we have. Uh, I'll do that if I have time. Um, so I think there's a lot of people that don't use it. Uh, so I'll do that if I if I have time. Okay, good. Um, thank you very much for your answers. So that gives me an idea of um, of what to focus on uh, in this presentation. So I'll do mostly FX and I'll do a bit of stocks um, and very little uh, futures uh, stuff. <coughs> So um, when you uh, log into the AutoCharter's web application, um, this is what it uh, it looks like, and 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 uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, brokers that provide our service actually moving away from our web application uh, and uh, doing more integrations into their web platforms. <coughs> um, uh, but but I use the web application for demonstration purposes because it covers all the major topics that I want to show. Right. So, um, the first and most important section of of, uh, of auto charters is the trading opportunity section, and this section specifically shows you uh, what opportunities there are in the market. And auto charters does this by identifying support and resistance levels in different shapes and forms. <laughs> so we would do this by identifying chart patterns, uh, Fibonacci patterns, and uh, key levels, which are really horizontal levels. Okay, um, and now within each of uh, those types of of, uh, of support and resistance levels that we identify, we also provide the ability to service both um, trend traders as well as swing traders. And let me show you what I mean by that. <laughs> so I'll just untick some some examples here. So um, here is an example of um, a, 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 a what we call a completed or breakout chart pattern. Okay, so uh, here we can see that New Zealand dollar Japanese yen has broken through a resistance level, and then we, we provide a projection up to 77.42, and this happened on 15-minute day. Okay, now um, uh, this needs to be contrasted um, with uh, what we would call an emerging pattern, right? So let me enable the emerging patterns. <clears throat> And let me show an example of an emerging pattern. So this is an emerging pattern on GBP CAD. You can see that there's been no breakout yet through support or resistance, right? The price is still trading within a range, right? So these emerging patterns, if you just click these emerging patterns, these are more applicable to what we call um, swing traders, traders that are trading very short-term uh, volatility uh, 
uh, of, of markets that are neither trending upwards nor trending downwards, but they're consolidating, right? So depending on how you perceive the current trend in the market to be, you could trade these emerging patterns or these breakout patterns, right? So auto charts caters for both. Similarly, um, if you're looking at the um, the uh, horizontal support or resistance levels. Here is an example. Uh, let me choose something a little bit more popular. Okay, here is an example of CAD Swiss franc. You can see that Autocharts did a very good job of identifying this um, uh, support and resistance level. It was a support over here, resistance, a breakout, then support again. And, and Autocharts believes that the price is potentially moving down to 0.7157 for CAD Swiss franc. But again, notice there's been no breakout. Right. However, if we look at another example over here on USD Mexican peso, you can see that there has been a breakout, right? And so that is ident that is what we call a breakout pattern that has um, uh, uh, is signified by a colored line, a colored arrow. Sorry. So this is a red colored arrow. Um, here is an example of another breakout which happened on GBP USD. Uh, there's a breakout through a support level and we think it's going to 143.71, uh, okay? Now, now, um, so I've, I've kind of shown you these, these two, well, three, dif uh, three different types of patterns. Uh, I'm not going to go into Fibonacci right now because I'm not a Fibonacci specialist, so I, I kind of stay away from talking about things that I don't know much about. But, but anyway, you get the point that Autocharters provides you analysis in both trending and non-trending markets, right? Um, so um, one of the most important things that I want to highlight to you is actually this, this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a pen and draw it here, this column over here, right, it's called age, right, and you can see that this, this um, opportunity that I've highlighted is actually seven candles old, and you can see that quite clearly on the chart itself where auto charters, if I click on it, we'll zoom in, auto charters is actually um, uh, drawn some uh, transparent candles after its forecast of what's actually happened uh, subsequent to the forecast, right? So we forecast the price up to 143.71, um, where the green uh, candle is. It went up a little bit, it uh, moved down, corrected down a little bit, and now recovered again. And you know, it could possibly be um, moving upwards again towards 143.71. But certainly, this column is very important because it tells you how old this pattern uh, actually, actually is. Now, um, uh, similarly, uh, you know, on the futures markets, oh, uh, oh, here's the futures market, sorry, uh, over here, um, uh, for those of you who are trading futures, um, here's some opportunities on uh, on the e-mini, S&P 500, um, you know, Autochartus has identified a, a resistance level, and I'm sure you agree with me that this is definitely a, a very well identified resistance level at one, just uh, around 1,900, um, which is interesting because also you know um, round numbers, as I'm sure you all know, are interesting resistance uh, 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 levels, uh, round numbers or resistance levels. So, um, so uh, you can see that uh, Auto Chartist, uh sees that this. Uh, this uh, the e mini s p five hundred is actually uh, turned and moving towards a uh, back against uh, towards this resistance level of one uh, of one thousand uh, nine hundred um, and and similarly uh, all the other opportunities uh, exist uh, here um, uh, e mini the dow five dollar e mini has broken through a resistance level and we think it's going up to sixteen just over sixteen thousand um, so uh, that's an idea of how you can use it on on the futures market and similarly on the stock market. Um, so uh, what I what I want to show you now. Um, let me go back to the forex market. Um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll I'll choose my forex majors uh, section uh, so that I can. Uh, show you something else, right? So, so here we go. So, so now imagine uh, you are seeing this trading opportunity on GBP USD, and you want to trade it. Now, what I'm about to show you is applicable uh, not only for uh, auto charters, but for any trading strategy that you may have, right? So, if I am, um, uh, uh, if I'm looking to trade GBP USD right now, obviously the first question is. 
um, you know, which direction am I going to trade it, right? So that's obviously the first first question you have to ask. The second question you've got to ask is, where am I going to set my stop loss and take profit, right? So the, and and in fact, uh, many traders believe that the second question about setting stop losses and take profits is sometimes more important than <laughs> than the the first question of which direction. So if you click on this volatility analysis section. AutoCharters provides you the expected volatility for the next 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 4 hours, and 24 hours, right? So if you are trading GBPUSD right now, right, and you want to, and you don't want to hold your position for less than an hour, right, so that means you don't want to get stopped out of the market, you kind of want to hold it for half a day or so, then you shouldn't, you shouldn't be setting your, your, uh, your stops and limits anywhere between 143.05 and 143.65. In fact, if you want to hold it for more than four hours, you should be you shouldn't be setting your your stop loss between 142.82 and 143.88. Right? Again, this volatility analysis is non-directional. Right? So it's not telling you which way it's going. Right? The current price, if you can imagine, is is like in the middle of this of these. Um, of this little trumpet, as we call it, um, uh, but certainly uh, depending, independent of which way you're, you're going to go, whether you're going long or short, this uh, volatility analysis is very important because it tells you um, where or gives you an indication of where to set your stop losses and take profits according to the market volatility. And let me show you what I mean. So my auto chartist is set to America Chicago time, right? because uh, I'm in US Central. Um, and what I'm showing you now is another graph which shows the volatility of pound dollar um, for every hour of the day. So you can see quite clearly, and let me highlight that with a pen, you can see quite clearly that the most volatile time of day, times of day are between kind of 2 a.m. Uh, my time, US Central time, and 10 a.m. US Central time. With peaks over here, and over here, right, which happened to be the open of L London and the open of New York, okay. So, so, so now you can see quite clearly that if you're trading the European session, right, then, you know, and you, and you can expect a price movement of around 35 to 40 pips on GBPUSD in one hour. So if you're trading GBPUSD, the question is, should you be using, should you be setting a 10 pip stop loss? or a 20 pip stop loss? The answer is, sure, you can do that, but then just know that you're going to get stopped out of the market within a matter of a few minutes, and it won't be because you made the right prediction or the wrong prediction. It'll just be pure luck and market noise that knocks you out, right? So it's important to look at this market volatility, these graphs and the volatility, to understand how to set what we call market-appropriate uh, stop losses and take profit uh, levels. Okay, if you're trading out of those hours, right during the uh, end of the U.S. session or the Asian session, then of course you can set much lower uh, stop or much tighter stops and and take profits um, on your on your positions. <clears throat> okay, um, so let me erase these drawing objects over here. Um, and, and close this up, right. So what we try to do then at AutoCharters is we try to provide you just a summary of uh, trading opportunities based on support and resistance levels, as well as um, uh, information about market appropriate uh, stop losses and take profits. Of course now, I've switched to a screen called uh, Performance uh, Statistics, and we do of course uh, keep track of uh, how good our forecasts actually are, right? So if we're looking at the Forex market in terms of chart patterns, this is a rolling six-month uh, stats page, right? So every uh, two weeks, I think it is, we recalculate the statistics. Over the last um, uh, six months, we've identified you know, 19,000 opportunities, of which 13,000 hit their target region, 66% uh, on average. What this means is this doesn't mean that this is not an indication of the returns you are going to make using AutoChartist. This is simply an idea of how many of our forecasts hit their target region, right? 
Okay, so think about that. This is not the statistic does not include um, things like any kind of specific stop loss strategy, right, or take profit strategy. This is simply saying we identified, let's say, a head and shoulders. Did it hit our target region? Yes or no? That's the only thing we're measuring, right? And really, this overall statistic in my mind is pretty useless. I discount it, and in fact, that's why I told the staff to make it a small fund um, because I like to focus on the details, which is far more important to me. Right? So, for example, head and shoulder patterns and inverse head and shoulder patterns are really, really star performers and they always have been. You can see that over the last six months, double tops have been really good performers. Right? Um, uh, channel ups have been really good performers. Channel downs have been really good performers. Pennant is always just an absolutely terrible performer. I'm not sure why. Poor, t poor pennant. Okay. Um, also, uh, look at the symbol, right? The, so what we can see is the symbols that have been doing well or badly over the last uh, six uh, six months. And probably one of the strongest indicators is the hour of the day. You can see that during uh, this is again U.S. time, right? So during the hours of London, during the London hours, technical chart patterns seem to have a far greater effectiveness. Than, um, than during the end of the, the US uh, session, right, or the Asian session, right. So if you all are trading the UK session or the European session, or can get the early morning of the or the late afternoon of the European session, certainly that's um, giving yourself the most chance of success if you're using technical chart patterns uh, to to do your trading. Now, um, those were the statistics for chart patterns. Um, of course, we have other statistics for key levels, um, different approaches, and, and breakout key levels. Uh, just to briefly show you, um, the, the stats on the approaching key levels are much higher, around 79%. But remember what I said, approaches are um, these very short-term movements. So you have to be watching the market all the time in order to take advantage of um, uh, um, uh, um, take advice. Excuse me, I was distracted there for a moment trying to keep track of the questions. Uh, we're trying to. Um, uh, you really have to watch the market to keep track of what is, uh, you know, the opportunities as they're actually uh, coming up on your screen. Uh, very, very short-term opportunities. Okay. So now. Um, you know, you're wondering what are we doing with these performance stats? Do I need to print them out? And uh, and I used to say yes. What you need to do is you need to go into these performance stats, actually make a printout, and have them next to you. But what the smart guys at AutoCharters did um, is they created this new section which we call our favorites. And our favorites basically combines the trading opportunities together with the performance statistics. Right. So again, I need to give a disclaimer that past performance might not be indicative of future performance, but these opportunities here are the ones charters believes are most likely to hit their target region um, with respect to the last six months worth of performance. Right. So if I'm a forex trader and I click, I want to see opportunities with a 70% or more chance of hitting a target region. Um, here they are, right here, 70% uh, or more probability of hitting the target region. If I'm a, a trader on, if I'm trading US equities, uh, well, one opportunity, let's see what happens if I change that to 60%. Okay, 60% or more opportunity, uh, chance of hitting the target region, I should get a whole bunch more um, uh, opportunities over here uh, for myself. If I'm a futures trader, uh, again, um, what are the opportunities on the market for me uh, right now? 60% or more, 65% or more, 70% or more. These are the opportunities I'm looking at right now. Again, past performance might not be indicative of future performance, but certainly um, uh, these stats take into account uh, the last six-month rolling window um, of what has actually performed in the market. Okay, good. So, um, um, so with that being said, uh, of course, uh, we do provide some other tools which are less real-time type of tools. So uh, if you want to just get an overview of what's happening on a technical level uh, on the markets, you can just subscribe to our Forex report under the Messaging and Alerts tab, and you'll get an email uh, every morning 
in your language that tells you what the high impact economic events are that are coming up, um, the market movers for the last 24 hours, um, as well as some longer term uh, trading opportunities. Okay, and you can get those in your inbox every day. What I really like is these, um, what we call correlating, uh, correlating signals. Um, correlating signals are uh, basically notifications that AutoCharter sends to you in your email uh, of when um, technical chart patterns and horizontal levels say the same thing about an instrument. So you can chart this is currently forecasting USD CAD. Um, uh, so basically, the um, the Canadian dollar to strengthen against the US dollar uh, of about 34 pips. Um, and it does this because there's been a, a triangle, a pennant, and a support level, uh, all pointing to this, um, you know, pointing downwards, right, towards the same direction. Right? So these correlating signals only happen, you know, once a week or, or twice a week at most, uh, but they're uh, what we found uh, to be uh, of extreme, of a lot of value uh, to traders. Um, certainly, I'm sure you all know um, uh, that, um, that this is, uh, you know, the more sig the, the more kind of correlating indicators you have in the same direction, uh, the more you would, uh, you know, the more you should uh, look at, pay attention. As I should I say, pay attention to that to that opportunity. Okay, <clears throat> um, I'm already going on to 23 minutes. What I what I want to quickly do uh, is show you um, the MetaTrader. Uh, uh, plugin, our new MetaTrader plugin. Um, if you are not a MetaTrader user, well, don't close your ears. I want to show you one more thing after this, but um, let me quickly show you the MetaTrader plugin. Okay, I have a MetaTrader sitting uh, in the background here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove auto charters from it. Uh, you all may remember that auto charters used to be an indicator uh, within MetaTrader. Um, but there was a lot of technical problems with it because you had to enable DLLs um, and um, and also you wouldn't get the scanning features. One would always need to use the um, uh, one would always need to use the 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 web application to get the scanning feature. However, um, again, the smart developers at AutoCharters have rewritten it as an expert advisor. And what you do is you drag and drop. Auto chartist onto your screen, onto your chart. There's no need to enable anything. You just drag and drop it, and uh, within a few seconds, Auto Chart is going to show you all the available opportunities in the market. Okay. So as you can see, there's this little window that comes up. Here it is, and I'm moving it around right now. There it is. Okay. That shows you the same information that the Auto Charters web application shows you, okay, just in a more compact way. So if we want to look at this CAD Swiss Franc M15 opportunity, we would click it and uh, it's going to come up now. Right, so here it is, it, the, the chart has changed to CAD Swiss Franc 15 minutes and in just a few seconds, here's the opportunity that's come up and we can see Auto Charters. Uh, just uh, two candles ago, has forecasted up to 0 0.7260, and it's actually moved there. And uh, you know, let's see what happens if it carries on. Uh, you go also get the same pattern details if you want them for all you technical uh, fun, um, technical traders. If you want more information about the actual pattern details, they are here. The um, the forecast region is here at the top in grey, and also if you notice these lines, right, they actually provide that volatility analysis I was talking about, right? So um, let me actually choose something with a bit less clutter. Let's look at this USD CAD opportunity. I want to show you what I mean about using this uh, volatility analysis because inside a trading screen, it really comes alive. Um, right, so. Uh, oh, so it looks like we've already hit our target region over here, but uh, I'm just going to zoom in. Sorry, everybody, I'm just zooming in. Okay, so if you had to take this trading opportunity right now, you can see where we forecast the next hour's volatility and four hour and daily volatility to be, right? So let's say if you were going short on this opportunity now and you wanted to hold your position for only another four hours, you would set your take profit to 139.43 and your 
stop loss at 14030 or 14048. Right. So um, again, kind of comes alive and shows you uh, how uh, this volatility analysis actually plays out uh, in the market. But certainly, uh, we made the right call uh, an hour ago on uh, on odd uh, CAD. Looks like it's just uh, Canadian dollar is really really strengthening uh, a lot. Um, okay. Good. Uh, okay. So um, with that being said, uh, let me quickly switch back to. Uh, the auto chartist the web application and uh, and click on the trading community section so what I want to show you here is um, we have a whole array of videos that you that you can watch in the trading uh, community section and in fact if you go to our YouTube channel it's youtube.com slash auto uh, then you can uh, you can see we've got a webinars there um, um, uh, all these educational videos. We've got lots of different channels. Uh, it's a really, really good, uh, good uh, resource for you for you to use. All right. So, with that, um, let me end my presentation and just try to answer a few questions here. Um, um, if you are okay, so I've got something here from Jim. Um, if you are a futures day trader, which trade opportunities and age are best? <laughs> Jim, so you're asking me the million dollar question, right? Um, uh, Jim, as you, as you can imagine, um, uh, from, a, from a compliance perspective, I can't kind of tell you what to trade. Um, uh, it's really up to you as the trader to, to figure out what you want to trade. Uh, certainly, when I trade, I can tell you from my personal experience, um, I I always wait for confirmation of a breakout uh, when it happens. Uh, so, so that's the first thing I must tell you that I never trade an opportunity as soon as it comes out. I always wait for some kind of confirmation. My confirmation normally is when a 34 candle moving average is pointing in the same direction as the breakout. Uh, that's something I enjoy trading. I found that the performance, uh, my probability of performance increases dramatically. Um, and so, um, uh, so, so that's what I do. Firstly, um, and that I think that's applicable for not only futures, uh, but also for uh, anyone who's trading a breakout uh, type of strategies, um, using auto charters or manual identification of breakout strategies. Um, so, so you might want to look at uh, age zero or age one, um, uh, but the most important thing is look for look for confirmations. Um, so uh, Fre uh, Frederick has asked a, spe uh, um, a, a broker specific question. Now Frederick, I am in this presentation. I cannot pr any give any broker names. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask my staff uh, to answer that question uh, for you. Um, now uh, Christoph. Uh, uh, has asked a question about the our favorite section. That's a very interesting question, actually. <clears throat> he, uh, Christoph asks, our favorite section is it only available for 60 minutes or higher? Um, actually, Christoph, we don't we don't limit it for 60 minutes or higher. We we scan down to 15 minute opportunities. However. Um, uh, we find that the 60-minute, four-hour, and daily opportunities are far more likely to hit the target region, and so they are the ones that seem to uh, arise or get notified about in the uh, our favorites uh, section. So, if you know, uh, if you read about uh, um, the theory of chart patterns and support and resistance, you will read that. <coughs> Uh, it is very imp the liquidity and volatility is very very important uh, for chart patterns, and and um, because chart patterns are based on market psychology, right? Uh, and so and so, can you really play out market psychology in 15 minutes? Some people argue yes, some people argue no. But certainly, we have empirical evidence that the longer term patterns and the patterns made of uh, larger time intervals, like 60 minutes, four hours, and daily. Uh, do seem to perform uh, much better, and so that's why they are uh, highlighted in the our favorites uh, section. Uh, uh, Bengt, I'm not sure if I've pronounced your your n name correctly. I'm, I'm sorry if I've mispronounced it. Uh, 
or bent. Um, uh, pattern, everything is available in MT4. Everything that you see on the web application is available on MT4, even the, um, even the uh, email subscription service is available on MT4. Um, if you have specific questions, uh, you can actually, um, what I'll do is I will uh, put in the support address. I'm sending uh, the support address to everyone. Um, uh, if you want to get the latest MT4 download, just email our support desk and we will send you the latest MT4 um, download. In fact, um, what I can do is actually bring it up for you right now. Uh, uh, It, uh, oh, I don't seem to have it. Okay, Yvette, could you, I'm not sure why I don't have it in my trading history. Um, Yvette or Errol, could you send me the link to the MetaTrader plugin uh, that we have? And then I can just send it to everybody, or you can um, chat it to everybody in this uh, presentation. Uh, so, another question from Suthakaran. Uh, I hope I've pronounced that again correctly. Uh, Suthakaran, how do you get AutoCharters? Just go to autocharters.com, uh, register and you get it. Um, if you have a, an account with one of the brokers, one of our partner brokers, then uh, auto charters is free for you. Uh, so uh, Jack has asked, how do you go to direct? You literally just type direct.autocharters.com and you'll be prompted for a username uh, or a password. Um, Veronica, uh, uh, yes, I think a, a recording of this webinar will be available online tomorrow. Uh, okay, it's um, I think uh, Jan or is it Yan or Jan? I'm not sure about again the name. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> Everyone's names are differently uh, pronounced differently. Um, I don't mean to insult anyone. Um, if uh, you want our favourites and the broker doesn't offer it, um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, us as a business, we have different levels of service for different uh, customers, uh, and so. Um, you know, maybe your broker doesn't provide uh, the our favourites, which is our premium service. Um, so, you know, obviously, if you want them to offer it, then then please do prompt them. Uh, ask them. Look, uh, I see Autocharters has a section called our favourites. Would you consider subscribing to that uh, to that service? Um, otherwise, register on our website, and uh, there are other options of of getting that uh, service. Uh, but if you register on our website, you can get a free trial and actually see if you like that service. Um, uh, Shailesh, I think it is, um, Shailesh, um, yes, there is a user manual for auto charters. Um, um, uh, uh, in, um, in the, so, so let me give you a few things. So firstly, um, here is a, a link to the new MetaTrader platform download. And in terms of a user manual, um, there is, of course, a reference guide. Um, if I can ask uh, Yvette or Errol to send me the link to the user guide, but it is obviously available uh, in, um, in the, uh, over here it is. Uh, let me just get it for you. I will send it to you. Oops. Um, so, uh, give me a second, send to all. Okay, so um, there is a, a user guide, a link to the user manual for auto charters. Okay. Um, so, um, uh, Shailesh, yes, uh, if you want to get the MT4 platform, uh, the MT4 uh, plugin into the MT4 platform, uh, just go to this, um, uh, go to this link I'm sending you right now, and uh, you can, uh, download it uh, there from that link and it'll install it inside your MetaTrader. Uh, and if you have any problems, please email support. Um, uh, so now um, uh, Sutha Karan uh, has asked if uh, auto charters costs anything. Auto charters does not cost anything um, if your broker provides it. If your broker doesn't provide it, there are some, um, because we don't sell directly, there are some uh, brokers that, um, to whom you can pay or some companies to whom you can pay 
and they will give you access to AutoCharters. If you email support at autocharters.com, we can direct you uh, to the um, to th those companies. Um, however, I must point out that you, if your broker doesn't support it, you're not with any of the major brokers around the world. Uh, AutoCharters is, is serviced is provided by about 120 brokers around the world and if your broker doesn't offer it uh, maybe you should uh, reconsider your choice of broker or uh, ask your broker to ask them why they don't offer it um, uh, so 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 yeah um, so uh, Michael this is one last question guys I'm way over my my um, I'm way over my limit uh, Michael your broker does offer it yes I, can't, I cannot give you the name over this, but yes, it does offer it. Um, uh, Jim, uh, that trading platform does not support it. You have to use it uh, through the web application. Um, okay, so, um, so uh, Osama, I'm way over my limit. Now, uh, Osama has asked an interesting question about um, the um, more information about the subcategories and the pattern details. Now, um, uh, Osama, what, I'm, what, I, what I think you should do is watch some of these introductory videos, especially the ones about chart patterns. Okay, um, What we're going to do is we're going to have another webinar following this one, which deals more about the details, about the quality and specific details about, about auto charters. Today's webinar was just about an overview. Um, so, so I think you're asking a very technical question, and I think we'll have to leave that for another time, uh, because I am already way over my time. I, my webinars are mostly 30 minutes. Um, uh, so, so yeah. And the last question, uh, Suthakaran, yes, uh, you can get auto charters alerts to your mobile phone if you have an Android or I, um, an iPhone or Android. Look up auto charters and you can download the uh, mobile application onto your phone and get alerted uh, to all the trading opportunities directly on your phone. And with that, I have to say goodbye, everyone. I appreciate, um, as I said, I apologize up front. Today was a very large uh, webinar, uh, and I apologize if I didn't get to your question. Um, I'm hoping my support staff in Yvette and Errol uh, have managed to answer uh, some of the questions. Um, uh, that I didn't get to. I know there were a lot of them that, that I didn't get to. Um, I appreciate your understanding, and hopefully, uh, I can. Uh, we, I will see you again in the next um, in the next uh, webinar uh, where we can talk more about trading strategies and other indicators uh, to use that in conjunction with auto charters. Bye, everyone. Have a nice